What's going on, everyone? It's RGB here again. Hope you're all doing great today. And yeah, this is something absolutely huge. The first ever Xbox 360 emulator for Android has just arrived, called Axe360e. The Android Xbox 360 emulator for real. And this project is developed by Inu, you already know, the same creator behind the popular PS3 emulator, APS3e. The developer just dropped the version 4 beta package. And in today's video, we'll check out how it actually works, the setup, and most importantly, how well it performs on Android. Here I have already got the game files of Xbox 360. The files are in compressed 7-zip format. So simply, I'll extract these files. Inside it, the file will be in .iso format. Also, by the way, the phone I'm using right now, you know, is the Realme GT7 Pro, powered by Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 4 with the Adreno 830 GPU. This phone has 16 GB of RAM, and these are the main specs. So let's get back to the process. And it's still extracting. This will take a bit long, so I'll skip this part. And there we go, these files are extracted. Now let's install the new AX360e emulator. Keep in mind that you can only install it via the Z-Archiver installer. You can't directly install it from the regular file manager. All right, so now I'll close everything, and there we go. Let's open it up. And this is the interface, and it's completely empty. Let's go to Options. As usual, here we have the Refresh List option. You can set the game directory path. I mean, the game files which we extracted should be assigned to the path folder. So simply, I'll copy all these files to a separate folder which I created, and these are the files. So allow folder path permission to use the folder. All right, now all the games got imported. If you added more, you can refresh. Everything, the options are the same as the APS3e version. Now let's go to settings. But unfortunately, we can't configure settings for now. Also, remember this is still in developer beta, so everything will be on default settings. And here we have key mappers. You can map the virtual controller key values. And let's also enable the vibrator. And finally, the virtual pad edit, where you can customize the on-screen controls, analog stick, or the buttons. I'll leave everything to default scale values. Now save and exit. And now let's go to the about section. You can see, this emulator is already configured based on my device hardware CPU with eight Elite's Orion cores, and also with the Adreno GPU driver, which the system Vulkan driver will be directly used. And all of the VK extensions got configured to the emulator. So anyways, let's first start with this game. And you can see, it's very quick compared to the PS3 version, which we've seen. Well, it's a completely different platform, and PS is very complex in terms of compilation, but the Xbox is faster on this. So, we'll have to wait for future updates. Also, please don't expect big titles like Forza Horizon or other quite intensive versions on it right now. This emulator still needs a lot of development in terms of optimization or whatsoever. All right, it's actually loaded. Well, this is a small 2D version game. It's very stable. But for the first time, to be honest, Running an Xbox 360 game on Android is actually insane. Like still, there is no audio lag or delay or whatsoever. It works really well. This is not cloud or anything like that. This is real emulation. Now let's try another game. All right, some are getting stuck in the middle. Still, it's blank. Now let's try the legendary GTA San Andreas. Oh, wow. It's lagging on sound. All right, and there we go. And look at this, guys. This is really cool. And it's actually kind of working.
So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. The AX360E emulator is still in its early beta stage, but honestly, it's already showing some serious potential. Running Xbox 360 games natively on Android is just insane. Anyway, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.